Hey guys, Neely here coming in for Wellness Wednesday. I just wanted to give you an update on my health and wellness diet nutrition journey and weight loss. And so I just uploaded a video about my first two days on the juice journey, juice and raw food cleanse. So I don't have a whole lot more to share besides that. That kind of goes along with the Wellness Wednesday video, but I did want to do a sit down and chat um, as well as that other video. So um, things are going well. Today is day three. Feels like I've been on it for a really long time and it's only day three. I'm like, oh man, this is dragging on forever, but I have a feeling the last half of the week is going to go really fast. So um, today I have felt the best. I uh, definitely took a couple days to detox and um, get over the caffeine. I feel like I am fully over the caffeine now, although it is only like 1.30 or 2. And I'll see how I feel around 3 or 4. That's usually when it really hits me. But um, the last couple of days I've been pretty tired the first part of the day. But today I had lots of energy. Actually, at one point where it was like, I felt like I had just had a shot of caffeine, like without the jitters, <laughs> um, but I was just like, oh my gosh, I feel really good. I have lots of energy. So that was really encouraging because so I know, you know, my body is adjusting and um, things are going well. And as a contrast, back um, in the early part of summer last year, which is right when I was getting started with addressing my adrenal fatigue and right when I read the adrenal reset diet and was uh, starting on all the supplements that my doctor got me on, I decided to go off coffee at that point, and it was miserable. <laughs> I went off coffee, and I my energy hadn't been terrible before that, but when I went off coffee, it was like, it was like the first trimester of pregnancy that I've had, where um, I'm just exhausted, and I it's like by 10 o'clock I wanted to take a nap, and I'd have to have a nap in the afternoon or else I'd just feel awful. And it lasted for a month. I was thinking like, okay, I'm going to get off a of coffee. Usually it takes like three or four days and then your body adjusts. It took a solid month. <laughs> it was miserable. And that was, I think that was definitely because of my adrenal fatigue and uh, my body was just relying on the caffeine too much to keep cortisol up. Um, but this time, the contrast is that this time... I had almost no symptoms. I was just a little bit tired the um, two days that I reduced the caffeine because I went down to half calf for the two days before the cleanse and then the two days after I started the cleanse when I had no caffeine. I was a little tired and I needed a nap um, the first three days, although yesterday I didn't need a nap. Uh, I felt like I kind of wanted one, but then I didn't end up ever taking one and I was fine. And today I show no signs of needing a nap. So that is really encouraging. It gives me a good idea that, um, or a good clue that my body is doing well and my adrenals are functioning as they should and adjusting really quickly um, once I hopped off the caffeine. So I'm really encouraged about that. I did want to also give you a, a weight update. I have not done that for a while and there's a reason for that. Um, I told you all through the month of February that I was eating in maintenance mode and I was maintaining really well. And I, all the way through February, even eating, you know, birthday treats, eating out with the family, all kinds of stuff, super indulgent. Um, I maintained my weight really consistently at 155 and it would dip down, uh, 153, 154. And then it almost never went over 155. And so I, I maintained that really, really well, even with the indulgent eating. And then Right at, let's see, right at the end of February, I think, right, not long before, like a week before I started my Whole30, which was, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. <laughs> I forget now. But anyways, um, shortly before I started my Whole30, like literally overnight, my weight jumped five pounds. I went from 155 well, it was about four pounds. I went from 155 to 159 and it was literally overnight. I weighed myself and I remember reporting on my wellness Wednesday that I was like 154.6. And then literally the next morning I was 159.6 or something like that. And I was like, this has got to be a fluke. I can't gain four pounds overnight. I didn't do anything differently. I, it, my clothes are still fitting the same. I was like, it's got to just be water weight. Uh, it's, it can't be it can't be fat. And I was expecting it to just to whoosh away um, and be a fluke. 
but it stayed. It was so bizarre. So it stayed. I weighed myself a few times and every time it was like 159, 160. And um, it was right after that that I decided to start my Whole30. So I started my Whole30 and I didn't weigh because I was doing Whole30 by the book and not weighing. But then I started weighing when I started this cleanse. So the first day of this cleanse I weighed and I was still right at 160. So two weeks on Whole30, you would think you would think that that five pounds would drop right off since I gained it so fast, but um, it did not. So I started this uh, Juice Journey cleanse right at 160, which is disappointing, but it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and so I have been weighing myself um, since I started this Juice Journey, and uh, I am down two pounds. So now I'm down to 158. So it's kind of silly having to lose this um, silly weight that just jumped on so fast. But I think what happened was I, my body was like, uh, as I was eating indulgently um, over February, my body was like, okay, all right, we're going to handle this. We're going to handle this. And then finally it was like, I have had enough and I am going to gain this weight and you'll, you'll learn your lesson. Um, it tried really hard to keep things steady for a really long time and did a great job, but I guess I just pushed it a little too far and um, did a little too much indulgence, indulgences, and um, my body pushed back. So um, anyways, that is what is going on with my weight. So I'm encouraged that um, things are dropping now. I, today is only day three, so I've only had two weigh-ins since I started. Um, so the weigh-in after the first day, I'd lost a pound, and then the weigh-in after the second day, I've lost a pound. So pound a day so far. Um, I'm glad that that's coming off and I'm hoping to at least be back to the 155 mark by the time this week is over. Uh, but we will see. I'll keep you updated on that for sure. But um, I've been thinking about what I want to do after this uh, cleanse is over. I had talked about jumping back onto Whole30 and finishing that out. But I'm kind of rethinking that. Um, like I said on Instagram, I think um, when I first started, I was... I realized how much I enjoyed these juices and like the smoothies and stuff and on Whole30 you can't do that and so I was like oh I think by the time this is over I'm gonna be regretting <laughs> I'm gonna not want to go back on Whole30 and I'm kind of thinking that at this point so what I'm thinking about right now is just going back to THM and um, only doing foods that I know work for me and um just tailoring it for weight loss. So I have said before that I feel like I've been doing THM even when I go do with a Whole30 or I go do um, the metabolic effect plan, all that stuff. I feel like it still falls under the umbrella of THM because of how I do it. I just, like I said, eat in maintenance mode. So eating lots of crossovers and stuff, but still it's within the umbrella of THM. But I'm thinking of going back to THM uh, and doing it really for weight loss, like uh, doing the weight loss mode of THM, which is separating your S's and your E's and adding in fuel poles. And I'm thinking about doing that for a few months and just see how it goes. Um, back when I did this, like THM for weight loss last year was when I was really struggling with adrenal fatigue. And um, I got to the point where I just needed to eat the carbs and fat together to feel satisfied. My, I was just so messed up that I, that's just what I needed. I couldn't get full on S's or E's by themselves. But I feel like I'm at such a good, such a better place now than I was before that maybe um, my body would respond better to just straight THM in weight loss mode. And um, I'm interested in trying to do that because I do believe in the plan. I think it's fantastic. I think it's uh, super adaptable to anybody's needs. So it's something that I um, I have incorporated, but I want to incorporate more. And, and like I said, do it in the weight loss mode uh, of THM rather than, you know, adding in all the stuff that I have been adding in, like the Whole30 and metabolic effect and um, maintenance mode and all that. So that's what I'm thinking towards right now. I also do really enjoy the juices. I think my body really needs that. I struggle with eating enough green vegetables. I don't enjoy lots of, you know, kale and collard greens and stuff. That's just not something I gravitate towards naturally. So getting them in in a green juice in the morning has been really good for me, I think. Um, so I'm interested in continuing that. I need to pull out the THM book and find out 
again, what they say about juicing. I know they have recipes like the um, uh, earth milk that I've tried before and wasn't really a fan of, but um, that was one that had the blended greens in it uh, where you don't strain out the fiber, I'm pretty sure. And um, I'm finding that I like it a whole lot better when I strain out the fiber. I actually can enjoy it at that point. So I'm definitely not going to do something I don't enjoy. But I need to go back and look and see what they say about juicing. I'm certain that they're not interested in people doing lots of fruit juicing. Um, but I need to go back and look and see what they say about juicing vegetables and all that. Um, so I'm going to be digging into my THM book again and um, kind of figuring things out again for me and seeing how that goes. Um, let's see. Besides that... Things are just going good. I did my day in the life of eating yesterday, and that's kind of how the juice journey plan is going to be every single day. Um, the foods are pretty much the same. I got the stuff to make a different soup because I've only had one soup the last two days, um, and I have one more serving to eat today. But um, I wanted to try one of the other ones, so I'm going to try the beet coconut beet soup. So that'll be fun. I also have the stuff to do the... Um, uh, crispy cabbage salad, uh, cause I had only done the kale salad that I've had the last few days. So that is on the menu for the next few days. I think that's it. Things are just going really well. There have been a few moments of hunger, um, especially today at lunchtime. I was out, so I didn't get home to eat lunch until one and I was very hungry. But I found that um, once I eat, I'm good. Like, I'm, I don't get ravenous and then feel like I can't stop eating. I, as long as I eat what's prescribed at the right times, uh, I'm, I do pretty well. So that is going great. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to add. I did want to mention also that I um, had to go shopping two more times to get stuff for this cleanse and um, it's adding up. It's not a, not a cheap uh, cleanse and I even went to Winco this, uh, the second time and got a whole bunch of vegetables there which were way cheaper than at New Seasons. But still, um, I spent $30 there and then I uh, spent $40 I think at um, New Seasons this morning. So all that together, it's like a hundred and something dollars. And to be fair, I like I bought uh, a few bunches of bananas and I didn't eat all of them. I've eaten one so far, but the kids are eating them. So I'm not eating everything that I bought, but I'm eating the majority of it. Um, I made a couple of juices for my husband to let him try them, which he thought they were all right. Um, but anyways, it is getting pretty spendy and I'm planning on doing like a pantry challenge type um, menu for next month because money is going to be a little tighter because I spent so much of it already. Uh, so that's been not not the best, but it is what it is. And uh, we have a lot of stuff in stock right now in our freezer and in the pantry. So we should be all right. Um, we're not going to starve, that's for sure. So anyways, that is all I have for my Wellness Wednesday. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will talk to you again soon. Bye guys.